Heyo, it's Abby, and today I have two lucky bags. These are Remint lucky bags that I got at my local hobby store, and I'm very excited because I think we got a good selection last year. These were 3,300 yen each, tax included. I don't know how many boxes are inside each bag or what is in there, so let's see if I got my money's worth or not. Here are the two bags. Last year I counted and we got 13 Remints, so let's see how many we get this year. Oh, okay. Pull them out one at a time. Oh, Sumiko Gurashi, Densha ni nootte shupatsu shinko. Let's go on a train. Oh, another Sumiko Gurashi, Sumiko delivery. We had a lot of Sumiko Gurashis last year, too. Oh, art. Wait, this is the same as last year. Did they just put out the same bags? Another Sumiko Gurashi secret tea party. Oh, a Pokemon one. This one's cute. Never opened that before. And oh, a Sanrio Matsuri one. I like this set. We have quite a few from here. We have that one. Actually, you know what? We don't have that many. We got doubles of that one last time, so I'm excited to see this. That's the first bag. Let's open the other one. Now I'm a little scared because last year there were a lot of repeats. Honestly, it kind of looks like they just set out last year's stuff again. I wonder if I had to dig a little bit more. Another Snoopy Art Studio, which I have a full set of, so I kind of don't need to open them. Oh, a Sumiko Gurashi Lando Seru. I wonder if that's what happened with my JJK bag, too. Another Sumiko Gurashi. Oh, it's a different one, though. On air, like a radio station. Oh, Miffy. We've never opened one of these before. Miffy Room. Two more. Oh, another Pokemon one. That's nice. We can connect them. And finally, oh, another secret garden party. This one's cute though. I think my friend was trying to get something from this set, so maybe we'll get lucky. So that's six in each bag. Um, if you want to see me open, I think it was like 10 of these randomly trying to get a full set. That's a whole different video and it's up. So go ahead and check that out if you want to see the set in detail. And then we can start opening. We have two of the same ones. Then a bunch of Sumiko Gurashi. You know what? I can't lie. I'm not as excited as I was last year. One, because it's all the same stuff. And two, it's a lot of Sumiko Gurashi. Let's start with all the Sumiko Gurashi ones. I'm really curious about the Sumiko delivery one. I think we've opened one of these before. I feel like we got... I can't remember. I want to say penguin. Hmm, there's ice cream, there's fish curry, and then penguins, pizza, and then polar bear is basically McDonald's fast food. Cat is sushi, and tonkatsu is shrimp katsu. Oh, look at Ebby Fries in there. I want polar bear. Hmm. Or maybe the fish curry. Jung. Whoop. Oh, we got ice cream. It's adorable, look at that. There's a little penguin, I think, face on it. It looks like penguin anyway, because this is penguin, question mark. Oh wait, no, this is actual penguin. New friend? Look how tiny the ice cream is. Let me enhance just a little. Look at those. Oh, they're all the Sumiko Gurashi friends. Penguin, cat, polar bear, uh, yarn ball, I think, maybe. Oh, tapioca, tonkatsu. And then penguin question mark. Yeah, they all have tiny phases. Here is penguin. And then the box and tray. Oh my goodness. Too tiny. Wait, I love this. I don't know if they look like scoops of ice cream. Oh, this one has ears. Wait, cat does too. Tokage, not penguin. Look at them. Can you see? They're tiny, tiny faces. You can see some of them. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. 
let me put the little box together. Shouldn't take too long. In theory, I am a crafter after all. Why is the box already torn up though? That doesn't make me happy. In they go. Oh my goodness. It's like Baskin Robbins. I love it. Why is this paper so flimsy though? Oh well. And then, since this is a delivery truck, truck, bike, look at it, it fits right in there. And then little penguin rides on it. Okay, that's adorable. First one is a success. It comes with little stickers you can put on the side, I believe. Penguin, homo, a real one. That's cute. Next one is Sumiko Gurashi Channel. So it's like a TV station. You know what? I feel like we've never opened these. I think I threw them into the MBB last year. Let's open this one up and maybe we will open the others um, during a live stream. Make sure you're subscribed and you turn notifications on because we have, we're trying to do weekly live streams and we have a lot of fun there. So I hope to see you there. Oh, this is the quiz show one, I think. This one's cute. So we have the mole, Mogura, emceeing, and then two little Ebu fries, it's the contestants. Look at the little tree stumps, little push buttons. Oh, you can even push them kind of, it's funny. And then you can put in the papers yourself for correct answer, wrong answer, and you can write your own in. Oh, and look, a check for the winner. That's pretty cool. Here's little Mogura, mole. Oh, this one isn't Ebi Fry, it's, maybe it's a fish fry? It looks like a Aji Fry, maybe. Look at them. And they're both on a quiz show. Isn't it kind of ironic that the Sumiko Gurashi Rebens are the leftover ones that get thrown into Lucky Bags? Next one is Let's go on a train. Oh, I like the ticket stand. We have the bento one. I remember opening that. Then there's the gate. This is actually a set that like you need multiple for it to be cohesive. Oh, the little stamp one's cute. I want the stamp one or the ticket gate. Not gate, um, ticket vending machine, whatever it's called. Oh, oh, I think we got the actual train. The paper's crumpled up. Madokara no keshiki. The view from the window. Scenery from the window. I'm gonna zoom out a bit because this is a bigger piece. This is cute. Look, it even has the little handles. There are stickers. Oh, it's a little travel magazine? I get it. It's a little magazine and you can put the stickers on here. That's cute. A little travel bag. And then Ebi Fry goes on here, but they're looking out the window. And if you turn it around, they're looking at you from the train. Simple, and I feel like you need some other figures to go with it to complete it, but it is Ebi Fry going on a trip. You can put the stickers on there later. I like, it's a cute little diorama. I like that these kind of swing and sway like a real train. Let's open the randoseru and then we can check out the garden party one. I think these are good for BJDs. And randoseru, I don't know what word it comes from, but it's a Japanese school bag that elementary students wear. Oh, what is this one? It's Neko and Neko's siblings. I didn't know Neko had siblings. What is Neko's backstory? Growing up, I was homeschooled in Japan and I really wanted a randoseru, but these are really expensive. They're usually made out of leather and I'm sure you can probably buy cheaper versions. I don't know, but they cost hundreds of dollars. And usually when you turn like six or whatever, however old it is, that you go into elementary school, your grandparents will buy one for you. Yeah, since I was homeschooled, I didn't have one, and I was jealous of everyone that had one, even though, you know, it's just a school bag. They used to only come in red and black, but now you can get them in so many colors. But yeah, I think you could put this on a BJD for sure. Two more Sumiko Gurashi ones, the garden party. Let's look at the lineup. We have a little garden gate, two different chair ones, a little swing, a fountain, tea time, more tea time, 
and then a table. As long as they're not doubles. I don't think I've ever opened these before. I'm pretty sure my friend wanted that one and they got it. I can't remember now. Oh, we have the little tea set. That's cute. That'll go with like anything. So this is perfect. Shirokuma has bunny ears on. And this one is, oh, oh, it's the cakes. Wait, okay, I'm happy. We have tea and food. Comes with a little table too. Perfect. Let's pull this table out. Oh, that's cool. It has a piece of plastic on it, so it looks like a glass top. You can cut out the tablecloth if you want. Enhance. Okay, what do we have here? We have a plate with a cake and a slice of cake. Oh, another cupcake. Oh, this goes on top. It's a layered cake. And then a little seat for catnip. That's interesting. Just a little table decoration, I guess. And a little fork. Ah! Stay on there. Oh my goodness, there are tiny sugar cubes. Don't know if this table's big enough. Scoot over cake. Plate, teacup, teapot. Little lid. This is a very crowded table. Sugar pot, sugar cubes, tea. Sugar cube on the tea. I assume that's where that's supposed to go. A lid for the sugar jar. Little tongs for the sugar. Polar bear. And polar bear's little bag. And, oh, I forgot a timer for the tea. That's a pretty cute set. I need a bigger table though. We have more to open. Let's start with Miffy. So this is Miffy's little bedroom. That's cute. Oh, I want the pancakes. Okay, I want the table and the pancakes. We already have a tea set. I just want the pancakes. Please, Miffy. I'm hungry. You know me and miniature food, guys. Oh, <laughs> I peeked. It's the tea set, which is not bad. I still prefer food over furniture, but I wanted the pancakes. Oh, look at the tray, though. Remit needs to start doing the perforated bags. Shall we enhance again? Tray. Here we have the Miffy teapot. Miffy teacup. Oh my goodness. So tiny. A little sugar jar. And the sugar cubes are little flowers. Tiny tongs. A spoon. Of course, some tea. Oh, the lid for the teapot has bunny ears. I'm gonna have to post pictures on my Discord or Instagram for you guys to see. This is very hard to see. Oh, the saucer. Do you know those channels that just set up remints? I love those, but oh my goodness. They must have the patience of a saint. Two little Miffy cookies directly on the tray. I'm assuming the paper craft is probably like lace paper or something. Ah, it's escaping. I'm still sad they're not the pancakes, but this was like the second best option. Tezukuri cookie to tea time. Tea time with homemade cookies. Original tea. Oh, and tea bags. Wait, that's cute. Okay, this paper craft is good because it adds to the set. Moving on, look at all these little tiny pieces we have today. This set, I would like the cotton candy machine. Oh, I think I got this one last time too, actually. Uh, on a different occasion? I can't remember. I'd like the takoyaki or the cotton candy machine. Would you guys like to see more full set remit videos? I haven't done many lately. I have a few sets to open. And last time when I opened the Kirby set, you all said you really liked that I made all the paper crafts, and it was actually really fun and chill for me too, so I think I got the takoyaki! Let me know if you'd like to see more. Takoyaki, tornado potato, and then some fortunes from the omikuji. Piece of gum, who knows when that's from. I'm so happy! Okay, let's open this up. There's a little cinnamon roll hand fan. Here we go. Oh no! Something just fell off the table. I think it was the little tail that goes on this. Whoopsie. Hello Kitty bag. This is cute. It's Charmy Kitty too, not just Hello Kitty, which is Hello Kitty's pet cat. I know, very confusing. Here are the takoyaki. Oh, the sauce is translucent. It looks good. And then there's single ones. That's cool. If you want to do a little setup. Actually, there's a hole in this one. It might go on the little piece that flew off. 
little cinema roll hand fan. I have one of these that is not cinema roll. A little hurricane or tornado potato. Oh, there's supposed to be a little star that goes on here. Uh-oh, I don't see a little star. Do you guys see one? We're gonna have to watch back the footage. Where is it? I don't see it. Whoops. And this, if you shake it, you get your fortune. So there's pom pom pudding, and there's... Ah, oh, we keep getting pom pom pudding. Well, there's Hello Kitty and Batsumaru too. There we go, there's Batsumaru. Oh no, I'm sad, we lost the star that goes on top. I shouldn't have dumped it out like that. Here is the Mikuji set. I really like the takoyaki and then the paper craft. Two more to go. This one's heavy and this one's light. Makes me curious. Let's open, well the heavy one's gotta be the bird, right? The pelican? Let's open the light one first. I hope we get Pikachu. Here's the lineup. I want number one and six. Oh wait, five or six. I feel like the heavy one's gonna be that one, right? Or do you think it could be the house on Pikachu's? Let us find out. I see a gate. Usoki! Comment the English name of this Pokemon, please. Okay, there's a tiny part here. I see it before we open it. We're not gonna lose anything this time. I like the remints that are dioramas. I do love my miniatures, but these are fun. I think it shows how to connect them. This goes over the gate. Oh, maybe this way? Like so. That's pretty. And then this goes here, which goes here, because they're climbing up the steps. I love that. And it should connect with the other one, somehow. I feel like this has to be the pelican. It's so bulky. Here we find out. Oh, it's a house. I think we got Pikachu. We got Pikachu! How do these, do these actually connect? Oh, maybe when you stack them? I don't know. Here is the building, whoops. Knocking everything over. There we go, oh, that just perches. It doesn't lock in. Oh, yeah it does, it clicks. And then what do we have here? Two tiny pieces, three tiny pieces. Pikachu leans on the railing. There's an extra piece of railing. Okay, we'll put this back on. Oh, that's so well made. See, if I tilt it, it's gonna slide back, but look at That's so cute with little Pikachu. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love it. Look at them. I love that. Oh, this is such a fun set. Oh, this is cool. So, they connect with certain ones. We've got two top pieces, I guess. But if you get this one, there's a ledge that sticks out that Pikachu can stand on. That's so cool. And then the fence connects here. So well made. Anyway, that brings us to the end. Like I said, if you wanna see the Snoopy one, check out that video. I have quite a few remit videos. So if you like seeing little miniatures and me struggling with them, Please check them out.